Okay, here we go. We're going to do a video of modeling an ear. Um, there's not too many tutorials I've seen on YouTube or out there in 3D Studio Max showing how to model an ear. So first we're going to do is have an image of an ear. Um, you can see the outer and then the inner part with the little fork in the road and everything else is indented. So it's going to be divided into a couple uh, videos. So first thing we're going to do is start uh, go under your shapes and click on line. And we're going to follow this part, the inner part of the outer ear, which sounds so weird, but it that's how it goes. So first we're going to do this is uh, you don't need a lot of vertices, but I put enough so I could follow it a lot better. So you have one here, one about here, then you have one here, 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 and we're going to stop. right here so this little spot is where we're stopping I'm gonna come straight down and now we're gonna follow every vertex we have here we're gonna follow them to make the outer part so we're gonna come straight down so this new vertex is gonna follow this one so and then this one follows this one this one with this one this one with this one, this one with this one, then with this one, this one with this one, this one goes with this one, and this we end up closing it off right there. So here's basic shape. So we're gonna go right click, select, as you can see, I made my um, customize preferences so you could see it a lot better. And we're going to go under com convert to editable poly. And we're going to click on vertices alt uh, alt x so you can see through. And we're going to pull these vertices so it roughly follows the um ear so as you can see there are some spots of our ear that like right so like right here it needs to come we need to put a vertex here and we need we don't need one, but I would recommend putting one here so you could round it off easier later. And then we need one here and one right here. So you need to add uh, a couple more vertex. Um, so we're going to go under Edge, Insert Vertex, go Snap, right click your snaps. And make sure it says on midpoint. Click it. And so now you see that wherever I put it on the line, it's going to make one. So we said we're going to make one here. Make one right here. So that we were working with quads. So when we connect these vertices later, in a bit, you'll see that we have quads. So this one. And then another one down there. One here. One here. And then one here one here right click turn off our snaps and now we're going to start connecting you could we could move the vertices first so that you don't have to worry about moving them after check something all right so we're going to click this one with this one right click and click connect so now we have that 
these two right click of course and as you see here you can just click on the tools so now we're making our quads Okay, if uh, you probably just noticed that I selected too many and then unselected one. Way to do that is if, let's say, I selected these and I only wanted these two, it's control. Just a little reminder. So now we can zoom back in a bit and start pulling these in. Okay, now we have our basic uh, shape for our ear. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, pull this for uh, edge out so it ends up to here. So what we're going to do is go under edge, select this one. And we're going to hold down shift. And we're going to pull. And we're going to pull it twice so that we can follow the shape of the earlobe. And this is basically where your ear piss, the earlobe is. And you can pull it up. And so now we go under edges, our vertices again. And we're just following the shape. of our ear. You don't want it too thick and you don't want it too thin either. The reason this is where you should have the thickness because that's the ear lobe. So here and we're going to do the same thing and extrude this this edge right here. So hold down shift, pull it. And we're going to pull it to about here. So now just move the vertices to follow the curves. So there. So this is basically our um, ear that are circular. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, select Go under your polygon, select the whole thing, and what we're going to do is, um, let me check our time real quick. Um, what we're going to do is extrude it, extrude and bevel, and we're going to Alt W, hit cancel real quick, Alt W, so you can see this, we're going to actually... leave it like so and you can see what I'm about to do so we're going to extrude and bevel and we kind of want our bevel to be a little bit smaller than it is because we're trying to round off the ear so we're going to go negative 1.5 and you can see it happening while we're typing it. And we don't want it at 10. Oops. Sorry. 
we don't want it at 10 because it's going to be a little too um it's a little too thick as you see cuz we want well, we can leave it at 10 cuz um reason I'm going to leave it at 10 is because of uh we're going to be adding a couple more uh vertices so we could round it off later so you can see it's beveled if you feel like it needs to be in more you could try negative two is the best you can go but I say negative two is a little too much best is negative 1.5 so there so then you hit OK and there's so now we're gonna alt X and you're gonna have that's our shape of our ear so thank you for watching next video we'll add more detail to our ear so um, Please leave your comments and any questions. Thank you very much.